hard as I've worked over the years to become disciplined and reasonable with my nutrition, there's one thing I can't seem to fully escape, and that is the fact that I am a snacky Jackie. If I'm not mindful, I can easily snack on small snippets of empty calories throughout the day. Or you can even snack on more than my body might need in dense calories throughout the day. Either way, when I'm in this place, it can cause me to take in more units of energy, calories, than my body needs. I was recently working with a client who struggled in this area. She generally ate pretty clean and healthy, but found that she was having a hard time controlling her snacking behavior. In our conversation, she opened up to me about some relational struggles she was having. And we saw a correlation between her emotional needs and her snacking behaviors. She began to realize that when she was feeling lonely or in need of human connection, she would turn to food. I know this isn't the case for all of us, but it did get me wondering how often when I reach for a snack, is there another need that is more emotional in nature that might need to be met? Psychologist Dr. John Townsend contends that, as human beings, we all have relational needs, and some of those needs could be broken down into acceptance, attunement, validation, identification, containment, comfort, affirmation, and encouragement. And that's just to name a few. In my work with my client, we decided that every time she felt the desire to snack, outside of when her body actually needed food, that she would ask herself, what do I need? She went so far as to put a sign on her refrigerator and pantry that said, what do I need? Then we decided that once she identified which of the six relational needs she needed, she would reach out to someone and ask them to meet that need. For example, one evening she had already eaten a dinner that was healthy and dense in nutrients, only to find a short while later that she wanted a snack. She started to walk to her pantry and saw her sign. What do I need? She stopped. She looked at her list of relational needs. She realized that she'd had a brutal day at work and needed some validation. She reached out to me as her coach and said, today was hard and I could really use some validation. I texted her back and not only validated her, but I affirmed her for her mindfulness in reaching out. And I encouraged her that I was so proud of the hard work she was doing. And you know what? After identifying her need and reaching out for connection to meet that need, her desire for a snack held less power over her. Friends, while our body is a machine, your soul, your internal state is that of a human being, and you have emotional needs that are worthy of tending to. Don't underestimate the ways that your internal state can affect your external behaviors, especially as it relates to food. It's not easy work. In fact, identifying my needs and practicing the courage to ask someone to meet those needs has been some of the hardest work I have ever done. And it has been worth it.